What's good, YouTube family? Thank y'all for tuning back in to another video. It feels so good to be able to get this video to y'all and to do it from my own space. So, man, once again, thank you, God, for blessing me with my new apartment, man. It feels so good to be in here. Um, I hope that y'all having a good day. Happy 4th of July, man. God bless every single one of y'all. Today, we're going to be doing a low taper on a female waiver. Y'all can see she really put that brush to her head and put that work in. So, you know I got to get my girl right. Um, so, yeah. To start out any waiver cut, you want to comb the hair and the pattern that the br client brushes their hair. You want to comb it out brush because brush is going to lay their hair flat. Combing is going to lift it up with a scalp that's going to give you the most even cut possible. I left this in here just to show y'all how I put on my neck strips. It's just a little quick little tip, little gem so y'all can see how to really keep the neck strip up, you know, so it don't just go down into the cape. And uh, so to kick this cut off, man, I go in with the number two guard open. And this is how I'm gonna cut her hair down with the number two guard open. Y'all can see she really in there, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm just making sure that I comb and, and cut in the pattern that the client brushes their hair. And I'm gonna go over it multiple times just to make sure that everything is one desired length. And once I got it there, then I'm gonna go ahead and set my guideline. So right here, I'm gonna start at the neck. I'm not gonna bring it up too high. Um, Cause I'm not trying to dig into a wave, so you gotta, you gotta. It's all depending on how the client, how the waver, you know, how their waves, how far the waves come down, and how far you, and how low of a tape you want to give them, depending on how how you set that guideline in the back, and just the shape of the head for real. So you can't really say one, just one spot. But I bought it out at the bottom, at the, a little bit under the top of the ear. Cause I want to give her, I want to give her a low taper so I can keep this area dark around her C cup. And then to begin the fading process to establish my first guideline, I'm gonna have my blade open on my Anders Masters, and I'm gonna flick out. And then I'm gonna lay my blade flat and go to the top of that guideline. Then I'm gonna close my lever halfway, go halfway up the guideline, then close my lever all the way and go to the bottom of the guideline. Take that line out completely. And right here, I'm just taking a one and a half guard, and I'm just going in this little section, just going down with the grain just to soften this up just like i said earlier i'm, st I'm trying to keep it i'm trying to make sure that i keep that dark around the c cup and right now y'all using this side of your uh comb is like using a one and a half guard against the grain but also notice that my blade is open and i'm pulling out see how i'm pulling out on the uh on the comb and now my blade's closed because i'm i open it first and now i'm closing it just to soften it up and then when I switch the comb to use uh, the little side, that's like using a zero guard. So y'all can see how this fade coming together already. And this is something that I really love about clipper over comb. That's why I show you all this so much and that's why I suggest it. And y'all can see we went ahead and threw the black mask on. What the black mask is gonna do is gonna remove any impurities, any blackheads. And this is gonna get the skin nice and clear and soft. So right here, y'all, y'all seen I use that, and now I'm just gonna use corner work. You seen how I did the uh, clipper over comb, and how I went over it real quick, and now I'm just gonna do corner work and detail work. And by detail work, I mean corner work. So when I say detail work, anytime I see detail work, I mean I'm gonna use the last couple teeth of my blade to pinpoint dark spots and bring them to the light. And uh, I'm gonna lever play, open and closing my lever when need be to to pick out any dark spots to bring it to the light. And then on this side, y'all, y'all know what I'm gonna get into. So let's get into the message. I'm just gonna read y'all what I uh, what I listened to today. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna just read y'all the notes that I took on the sermon that I watched today. It's called "The Side of Vision" by Jesse Duplantis. So let's get it. It say, "Vision is the mother of inquiry. You have to be an investigator of the facts yourself." and the maker of all things so you'll understand the vision when it's presented to you your vision will and must come to pass that's god's right and he gave it to you so you have to claim it exodus 3 1 through 5 that's where he took the uh that's where he took this message from you have to have great passion and great principle allow your principle to function let it control the passion so you don't do things that you regret to see a great vision you got to be in a good mood nothing happens until you say something that's Romans 10 17 you have to be ready and expecting to be surprised by God you have to expect God to do something you have to be having that spirit of expectation because God is moving always God is always working so you expect him to work in your favor 
y'all to get into the back it's literally the same thing y'all gonna see me uh go down with the grain with the one and a half tool it's literally the same thing just rinse and repeat and just make sure that when you cut the hair like see how i had to turn my clipper the reason i turn my clipper that way is because her hair grows in that direction so you got to maneuver the clipper so that you make it sure that you're always cutting against the grain so you're getting the most gradient smooth transition and fade as possible i know somebody need to hear this guy's waiting for you to do something he's already done all he's gonna do you got to do your part and that's when you're going to receive it after you do your part because god's part's already done he's waiting to give it to you he's waiting for you to do something god knows your name you receive vision when you take time to look for and to see god i have more than a relationship with god i have fellowship i'm god's hands feet and mouth i want to know vision is the mother of inquiry i know him who i have believed when you know you believe then you receive be willing to take the time to see the side of God. Get beyond intellect and deal with the spirit of whom you are. That's when you're going to see great things. You're right in the midst of it. God never stops thinking of us. We're his children. God doesn't use conjun conjunctions that mankind uses. He stands on his words. There are no buts. If he told you he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Don't let your vision be missed through laziness, indifference, or unwillingness. What are you willing to do? How much of you does God have? God has 100% of me. God, you have all of me. Mold me into a vessel of honor for you. God, you have my heart, spirit, soul, body, money, career, life, everything. I'm all yours, Father. The closer we get to bringing the vision to pass, the nearer we advance to the secrets of God. God doesn't allow dead things to be around him. He's life. There can't be any death between you, God, and your vision. Thank you, God, that when you created me, you put your name in me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. I had the angels of God waiting on a command for me to speak. That's very powerful. Don't y'all forget that. Make God's vision for your life a living reality. Trust God. Understand the vision that God gives you. And faith, y'all remember this. Faith is the only thing that God responds to. I really enjoyed that message, a beautiful message. It made me really think about, you know, the vision of where God has a, what, what God wants to do, you know, in my life, because I do have a vision for it. And I just been thinking about upgrading it lately because my mindset has been upgrading. So it's like God just revealed to me the things that I need to add to this vision for it. And I will do it and I will do my part to bring it to pass. Um, God's part's already done. Make sure that you do your part and it will happen. Ask, knock, seek, and you will find the door will be open and it'll be given to you. So y'all, there you go. I pull out the black mask. I'm gonna go ahead in the back here, do some touch up work and just detail a little more. know me y'all know this is one of my favorite parts of the haircut this is something that's become a signature for me is neck lineups man so what you want to do when you do a neck lineup you want to prepare it first you want to spray the hairspray i didn't get it in this video but how y'all know if y'all know how i prepare my hairspray then y'all know um you know i think i'm gonna make an online academy um definitely an online academy online course whatever you want to call it you know to really go in depth and detail and have somebody holding the camera it's just gonna be you know it's just gonna be way more detailed of explanation but y'all can see man when i do my ear lineups i keep it natural as possible i don't push it up i'm not trying to give them the uh wall whatever it's called i'm trying to just keep it natural as possible but also get it crispy as possible and that's the best haircut that you can give to a client so i start from the bottom and i set in my slant and then I work my way to the top, and once I get to close to like mid ear, I switch my I switch from using my whole blade to just using the last couple teeth of my blade and uh, making that nice arch around the ear. And this side jaw is the same thing. I'm just gonna speed it up. So I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna tap my slant in. Y'all can see I brushed everything in place. Tap my slant in, and then y'all can see as I said as I get to to the mid ear i'm gonna convert to the last couple of teeth of my blade to really make this arch around the ear y'all can see that thing bust i think crispy boy 
And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna comb down any hairs that's overhanging, and I'm gonna cut the overhanging hairs so that, so that there are no overhanging hairs. And that's how you solidify a lineup. So right here for her lineup, see the little light in the front. So what I don't want to do is push it back. What I do want to do is keep it natural as possible because it's still gonna be crispy. So I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna work my way to one side. Once the front meets the side, I'm gonna tap the vertical bar in. After I tap the vertical bar in, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set in my C cup. Then I'm just gonna rinse and repeat and do the same thing on the other side. And literally, when I say the same thing, I mean the same thing because you want it to even out. You want it to be the same. You want it to look the same on both sides. You want it to be symmetrical because that's the best haircut you can give a client. So right here, y'all, I'm just taking my time, being very patient, not uh, pushing her back, just keeping everything out in front. Y'all can see how I comb the hair down, and then I'm gonna go over it again, so that there no, so that there are no overhanging hair, so I can have a solidified lineup, so the client can go home and do a brush session, and you know she's still gonna have a crispy lineup because I, I did my part as a barber and gave her the best haircut possible. That's why you want to continue to comb and go over the spot. Like, say, once you set the first line in, that's your... Let me explain this first. All right, so, so for my C-cup, I planted at the top. You know what I'm saying? I, I established my spot at the top to give me, like, the vision of how low I can go on that vertical bar. I started the bottom of that vertical bar. I, I set that guideline in at the top, and then I worked my way. From the bottom to the top and then i meet myself in the middle and then y'all right here boom rinse and repeat on the same same thing on the other side back to what i was saying though you want to always consistently comb so that they're so you put your first guideline in and then you want to comb down and you want to keep it at that guideline so make sure that you can see the guideline that you already set in and then you just want to cut any hairs that is hanging over the line that you already set in because one you don't want to push it back but you just want to give them the best haircut possible and the longest lasting cut possible and that's the lineup is one of the most important parts of the cut if not to me the most important part of the cut so you definitely want to make sure that you got your lineup right right there i'm just checking to make sure that my symmetry is going to be correct so i'm looking at the other side of her head and then i'm just gonna do the same thing and i'm i'm gonna hit this c cup and make you know get this thing popping y'all can see man we did not need enhancements y'all can see everything is symmetrical we didn't need enhancements it was crispy before i'm gonna go ahead and add some enhancements so i'm going in with some kiss express and my shower cuts hair color enhancements card i'm just gonna spray a very light amount i'm not gonna do too much when i'm doing using enhancements and uh yeah that's the goal of enhancements is to enhance the cut to make it look as natural as possible you're enhancing the cut you're not trying to paint you're not trying to paint them on you're trying to enhance it so like a little goes a long way a little goes a long way and y'all can see i don't spray too much and you can see look at her waves bro like she really in there she really in there that's crazy shout out to cable right here y'all i'm gonna go ahead and i had this some fibers on top of it just a very very light amount and then i'm gonna go ahead Use, this is trust me i think it's volume four or five i use volume four and five it's for the people who's asking what hold i use i use trust me volume four and five i like both of them i don't really see the difference in them but i like both let's get a little razor work in here y'all can see when you use the razor make sure that you stretch the skin make sure that you um hold the razor at a 45 degree angle just be very consistent and don't let the razor don't don't press down let the razor do the work so that you having a smooth, smooth guide on the client's head right here. I'm just going over, making sure that I get any of the loose hairs so that this cut as smooth as possible. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and add some mousse. This is called liquid gold or something like that. I forgot. I can show you the bottle. This stuff smells fire though and it's not too thick. That's why I, this is my favorite mousse. Um, I'm just going to brush it and the pattern that she brushes her hair. Right now, man, I just want to give a special shout out to my clients. I really got the best clients in the world. This week, I had two things happen. I had one client bring me some Chick-fil-A, then he handed me a card, and he was like, I was like, what's this, bro? He said, I told you I got you, because last time, I forgot, I think he showed up late last time, so, but I still cut him, and he appreciated it, so, you know, he brought me, he gave me a $50 gift card, so shout out to you, bro. God bless you for that. I hope he blesses you 
10 to 100 times spoiled. And then I got another client who I wasn't gonna be able to pick up no food. I said, I, I ordered it. He said he would grab it. I was like, hey, bro, I forgot to pay over the phone. Can I give you cash when you get here? He said, yeah. And then he didn't even let me pay for it. He was like, nah, bro, this one's on me. So God bless you, bro. I appreciate that. And once again, I hope God praise you 10 and 100 times spoiled too. I appreciate all my clients, man. I love and appreciate y'all. Cause without y'all, there is no me. Right here, I'm, I have my blow dryer on hot and I'm just running my hand over it just to lay everything flat one more time. Usually I would put the do-rag on and then put it under the dryer, but you know, I was taking a video, so the video already makes the cut longer. I was kind of running a little bit behind the cut. So yeah, I just did that. Go over it one more time, just to smooth everything out. And man, y'all can see how this thing came together. And it goes to the same thing with my subscribers, with everybody who likes my videos, or all my supporters, everybody who comments. Without y'all, there is no me. So, man, please do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video so that it continues to put me in YouTube's algorithm so my page continues to grow. My, grow, my goal for the end of this year is to have 10,000 subscribers. I definitely need y'all help to do that. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hey, y'all, if y'all was able to sit through the 16, almost 17 minute video with me, I appreciate y'all. If y'all came because you just like watching bar videos because it's satisfying, I hope that it satisfied you if you came. I hope that my message touched y'all, man. I hope that my message reached somebody and touched somebody and helped them to get better and to advance in Christ. If you came to learn something, I hope that you take something from my game, apply it to yours, advance in your career and your craft and your life. Thank y'all for tuning into The Lake Show. Let me know what y'all think once again in the comment section about this cut. I think it turned out super clean. I think that the fade butter, the lineup extra crispy. Thank y'all for tuning into The Lake Show. Hope to see you back on the next video. May God bless.